Welcome to the press conference for the opening race at Donington Park for round 11 of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship. We'll start with you, Josh. Josh, it was a good start. It looked like you got a bit caught up with Christian Iden on those opening laps, but then you fought back for a hard-fought third place. Talk us through the race. Yeah, I did. Um, obviously, it was ideal to lead the race, but uh, I, me I knew immediately that uh, that something was up. I couldn't couldn't make an apex, and I felt um, like something something we were missing something in the, with the bike. Um, the strange thing is, from the best of my knowledge, the the bike should be the same as we had in qualifying yesterday. So I'm a bit uh, confused as to why the bike didn't feel like it should. Um, but anyway, I had to ride with what I had, um, and when Christian come past. Uh, it kind of took me by surprise. It wasn't that it was such a nasty manoeuvre. It was just that the, the timing was um, unfortunate because I was like quite late into the turn, expecting not expecting a pass to be made there. So when he did um, kind of force the position, I kind of had to, you know, a a allow him to come through. Um, and that meant I lost uh, two places. And then I was starting to wonder if I would, um, you know, drift even further back. Uh, but I was able to, you know, maintain a, an average enough pace to, to keep my position and at the end of the race was able to fight back to, to third. So I should actually be happy with uh, with what I've been able to do today. Tommy, during that yeah. race, there was some spots of rain flags and it, you had a big gap to Scott. It then came back a little bit to you. How did you find that changing conditions and was that on your mind for a period of time during that race? Yeah, no, exactly. Um, to be honest, a little bit like Josh had really, I, I, I genuinely struggled a lot in that race. Um, just we, we kind of struggled a little bit all weekend uh, with obviously losing sort of quite valuable track time. Um, you always kind of think coming back to Donny Turn from earlier in the year, you can just click, 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 job done with the setting and off you go. But uh, I think with track conditions and weather, it, you know, it's certainly not quite been as simple as that. So. Um, yeah, in that race, I, I kind of just made a nice steady start, got away comfortable. Um, in fact, quite happy sat there. And then uh, when Christian tried taking uh, the fair enough Josh's bike, um, I sort of kind of thought, right, I need to just sort of get a little bit of clean clean space and in, in found myself in second. So I had a, a good dig mid-race um, and then the rain came and I was a little bit hesitant to start with and then thought, well, you know, <clears throat> if if it gets that bad, then then... Scott would perhaps get the effects of it before me, so uh, I kind of carried on pushing and uh, and just seeing what happened. But uh, yeah, really, really struggling to to uh, similar to Josh to to make the apex and, and really struggling on exit a bit. But uh, you know, credit to the team, they they've done a good job, um, and we'll make some good bold changes for race two and see if we can um, you know put up a bit more of a fight. And on to our race winner, Scott. That's all of the wins in the showdown so far, three from three, and the win at Donington again. As we were saying, the conditions changed during the race, and as the boys were saying, as you were at the front of the pack, it would have been you that hit the condition changes first. How did you deal with that, that change during the race? Um, to be honest, first of all, I started the race, I felt comfortable, but not that great. I felt like the track was maybe a bit greasy, maybe it's a similar thing what the other guys were feeling. Um, but I could probably manage it a little bit better due to the pace that I had yesterday in the qualifying. Uh, and I felt quite comfortable at that. And I saw the gap getting bigger and I thought, yeah, that's that's good. I can manage it, see what the other guys are doing. I could see coming out of Melbourne Loop where the guys were. And I felt settled. I thought, just keep you know ticking the laps off. And then the rain came. And I thought, I don't like to be the leader to, to test it out. Like Tommy was saying, I'm the first one through. And if he sees that I go down, he knows to slow up a lot. If I don't, he's going to keep pushing. And that's probably why the gap closed quite a lot. And I thought, maybe took a bit too much risk. Then I pushed again. And two laps later, I set the fastest lap of the race. So I knew I had a bit more in the pocket, but I had to ride quite sensible. Um, but race two can always be different again. So we'll see.